morning people it is the day of the auction so yeah what was the thing I didn't want anybody to know about yesterday there is a bunch of Pokemon cards and yeah I'm gonna be bidding for them there's some tops ones which are not as worth as much but they're shiny so they are there's some decent ones in there some of them are worth about 30 quid a card um, and all sorts of original ones I didn't see any like big hitters you know the big shiny original ones you know the ones that everybody wants but let's see how much they go for also there's a lot of die cast models Michael Schumacher Formula 1 cars and stuff like that you know touring cars which can go from anything from 50 to 150 pounds so I'm gonna see what I can get and then at the end show you what I actually won Next we got over 600 various Pokemon cards I've got 60 bid, 60 down bid, 65, 65 bid now, 65, 65 bid now 65, here we go, everybody else have a go, 65 pounds all the Pokemon cards 65 bid Not worth it 75 75 bid, 75, 75, 75. Oh, no. Oh, no. 65, go 80. 65, go 80. You're going to be 65. I'm going to be 80. 80 pounds bid, thank you. 80 pounds bid, 80 pounds. 80 pounds, got 80 pounds. There we go. 80 pounds, all that. Three 118s, girl models of Ferrari racing cars. I've got 15, 18, 22, 25. 8, 32, 5, 8, 40, 40 bid, 40 bid, 40 bid for the pro, 2, 42 bid now, 42, 42, 5 if you like, and 5, 45 bid now, 45, 45, hands up to south, 45 bid again, and 8, 50 bid, 5, in the room, 55 bid now, 55, 55, where I point, I start, 55 bid, 55, and we have 60, Five. 65 bid now, 65, 65 bid now, 65, here we go, one more time. 65, here comes Anna, I am selling, large chunks for you now, 65. Four, two, six. Three more, uh, Ferrari, Red Bull and Renault. Here we go, we'll start at 30. 30 pounds bid, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, got 30 pounds, 30 pounds bid, 30 pounds, 30 pounds bid, 30 pounds, here we go now. 30 pounds and bid, two, five. 35 bid now, 35, 35 bid, 8, 42. 42 is bid now, 42, 42 bid, 5 anywhere, 42 hit 5. 45 in the room, 8. Ireland, I've got a bid in Ireland, 48. 50. 50 down bid, 50 down, 50 down, 50 down, 50 down bid, 50 down right in front of me. 15 pound, 15, 50. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind that, yeah. Three box by cast models of Rally. That's this rally, not bicycle rally. Rally over R A L L Y. Forty bounce, forty bounce, got forty bounce, forty bounce, bit, forty bounce, here we go now. Forty bounce, here we go, two's a lot now, two in the room. Five, eight, forty-eight, bit forty-eight, still in the room. Forty-eight comes up. Here we go. All done. Everybody else, last chance. All the way. Fifty. Everybody else, moving it. I'm selling it. Then at forty-eight. Four, two, three. Next, we've got various Lego and Lego Technic models. Now I didn't put them all together to see if all the bits were there, so you've got to take a bit of a risk. Anyway, I'm starting at 25. 25 bid now, 25, 28, 30 bid, 30 bid, I've got 2, 5, 8, 40, 15, 5, 65, 70, 5, 80, 80 bounds bid, 80 bounds, 80 bounds got 80 bounds, 80 bounds, here we go, 80 bounds, 5, 90, 90 bounds bid, 90 bounds, 90 bounds got 5, 95, 100 bid. 100 pounds bid, 100 pounds, 100 pounds, all down, 100 pounds, here we go, 10, 20, 30, 130 bid, 130, 130, 40 if you like, 130 pounds, here we go, I am selling, last shot for you, all done, finished, I am selling at 130 pounds. 
So I'm back home now. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little like auction run through of me bidding and not bidding. Um, the Pokemon went for too much for me. I was willing to pay about 40 quid. There wasn't anything really good in there, you know, like a card that's going to give me 50, 60, 70 quid. Um, a lot of the condition was quite bad on most cards as well. So even if I did have a decent card, it probably wouldn't get as much as I would really want it to. So paying oh, like almost 100 quid after commission, um, I'm not going to pay that for some something I don't really know much about. The Lego also went for way overpriced. You can tell the difference from somebody who's been there and looks at it compared to somebody online. The person who bought that online, he is going to regret buying that because it's not worth that. I checked the fire engine one and there was loads of pieces missing. It's not just incomplete, it is majorly incomplete. To find them pieces as well, you're going to be paying a lot of money. Um, the spaceship one, which I was really interested in because that goes for about £80 without a box. Um, yeah, again, didn't know if it was all there. And the other things really fetched about, about 20 30 quid. So... After fees, I think it went, yeah, £130 I think it went for. So you're looking around 150 quid, 60 quid. I'm never going to get my money. And there's no point bidding, you know, against somebody who really is a collector because you're never going to win. But I did buy some of the uh, cars and I've got them right in front of me. So I'm going to show you what they are and then I'm going to tell you what I should potentially get from each car and how much... I spent today and how much I'm hoping to get back. Well, first I picked up these. Um, you saw me going to the charity shop yesterday around the same area and somebody messaged me saying you should have picked these up. The reason being I didn't pick these up is because I couldn't find no salt. I knew the make and I saw it, um, but it was only new stuff. I couldn't find these at all, no vintage. As you can tell, they are vintage. People don't make shoes like this anymore. You know, they're very heavy as well. But this make is from obviously Paris. Um, and you can just tell they are quality shoes back in the day. But the stuff they sell, like the person messaged me. So thank you very much. Um, their stuff sells from anything from a couple of hundred quid to a thousand quid. They make a lot of stuff. You can tell the quality just by the way they've made um but me to sell these it probably is going to take a while it's going to be somebody who's really into this make or maybe a vintage collector or something like that because even though they're quite ordinary plain shoes that is very weird i don't know what that's all about but it's a size eight and a half the condition is not great i mean that's a one reason i didn't want to pick it up but I'm going to take a punt and if I don't get my money, that person who messaged me, you can buy them off me to make up for me buying them because I did take a punt and I'm trusting you because he said that there's no reason why I can't get 100 to 150 for these. I don't know that. Maybe 60, I would say, um, but we'll find out. I'll put them on but I'm not hopeful, but they will sell eventually because they are vintage and obviously that name, if somebody is looking for that name, yeah, they'll want a pair of um, shoes like this because they are very rare because there's none on there. But here we go. This is all the cars I picked up and Formula One cars and I'm going to go through them all. In total, I spent 200 quid on all these and you're probably thinking why have you spent 200 quid on all these cars reason being that is a michael schumacher one with a signature that is a michael schumacher one that is a michael schumacher one that is a limited edition one that is a very rare one because that's eddie irvine that one is a red bull and it's when uh, johnny herbert was in that one's nothing special because they came all together. That one's nothing special. I did like that one because you can take off the back and see the engine. 
Well, that one is a very good one. And that one is probably worth the most out of them all. So we're going to go through them and I'll tell you what's what. The Peugeot Rally car, you're probably looking around the 30 quid mark. I have put all these online before I've done this video. So if any of them sell, I'll put them on while I'm talking about it. I'd be very doubtful because I only put them on an hour ago and I'm now obviously doing the video. The Porsche, you're looking around about £150. One has sold for £150. It is a, obviously a metal die cast one. It is extremely nice. Porsche 911. Le Mans 24 hour car and the Mercedes CLK. You're looking at around a, probably about 30 quid. The Eddie Irvine Ferrari is quite a rare one because he wasn't with that team for a long time. I think he was with Jordan, um, that I knew of him. And yeah, you're looking around about 80 quid for that one. So that's a really good pickup. Um, it's a different um, make as well. It's not like Hot Wheels, which I didn't know the Hot Wheels made them. And I've heard of that make as well. But yeah, 80 quid for that one. Right, so you've got Michael Schumacher 2000 racing. Um, that one goes for around 65 and then the 2001 goes for around 75. The detail on these Hot Wheels cars are amazing. Absolutely beautiful. I didn't know Hot Wheels did these, uh, but yeah, they are really, really nice. The Williams one, it's a sort of a limited edition one. I wouldn't say like a limited edition where it's only so many of them, but it's one because they're celebrating so many wins, I think six times. So that one goes for around £60. The Red Bull one, which is the Johnny Herbert one, doesn't fetch that much because he was a bit rubbish, really, wasn't he? But this is the era of the Red Bull. This is when it first started, I think. Um, and Red Bull collectors might want this because, obviously, Red Bull. So that goes for £35. And then... The one at the bottom, which is my favourite one, is the Ferrari with Michael Schumacher's signature on the box. And it's on a bit of track. It looks like it's going around the corner. That one fetches around 80 quid. I'm told I spent 200 quid. That's everything. That's with commission and everything. So I didn't think I would spend that much on a few toy cars. Um, I know some toy cars do fetch a lot of money. Some of them are really expensive ones that actually cost more than all these put together depending on the obviously the rarity if they've been opened all these boxes have been opened but they've been like displayed obviously they're not been played with if i sell all these for the price that i told you i'm probably looking around just over 600 quid so i'm going to be tripling my profit which is okay i think if i can sell that porsche one virtually the rest of them are almost paid for so when that Porsche one goes, yeah, I'm in the money. Tomorrow, we are going to the car boot if it doesn't rain. So I'll see you tomorrow with a car boot. But thank you for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.